Mm, uh, did I pronounce your name correctly? Um, it's Kiana. You're very close. Okay, that close, close. Okay, that's good. That's good enough. But right now we've got uh, Ernie and and Ron in studio. Uh, before we get to uh, what we're going to talk about with Cleo and yourself, uh, Ernie and, and Ron, let's talk about a project that we've talked about in the past, the, the Navajo project. Uh, that's wrapping up. Is that right? Move right, closer, microphone yeah. there. So. Um the uh, the Filmmakers Without Borders Fellowship in the Navajo Nation is just wrapped up on the educational component of the year. So it's been a year long that I've been out in the Navajo Nation on the New Mexico side uh, teaching filmmaking. Um, but been paired with that are creative assignments, including a final project, which we're all working on together. All right, good. You don't have much of a tan. I thought you'd have more sun. With you. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> fortunately, I'm in the classroom a lot of the time, so yeah. that's it. It's been and, a, a re- rewarding yeah. experience? Or Absolutely. What? You know, sometimes I feel like I'm doing five stand-up comedy shows a day <laughs> instead of five classes a day <laughs> just to kind of keep everyone enthusiastic and interested. I mean, it's an arts class, so it's more about staying creative and having good energy. All right. And, again, the kids are catching on and they, they enjoy it? Uh, yeah. We yeah. just uh, we closed out the year with a film festival, student, student film festival, just all the films that they created using all the knowledge they learned over the year. All right, great. Uh, Ron, thank, good to see you again. How you doing? Hello. It's okay. good to be back. You're out in New Mexico with Ernie? I uh, went out to visit uh, in October, and now we are going to be heading out again uh, to start production on our next project. Uh, feature-length film. It's going to be a Western. And um, actually, Cleo, I think you can give uh, a bit of a synopsis, if you would. Uh, sure. Um, so these two guys... Um, in post-Confederate America have a taunting and they drag all these native characters into their into their feud. And basically the plot is everyone trying to, like, I guess, um, deal with these problems that, that rise up because of their taunting and because of their feud. Okay, is this is this a true story or something that may have happened uh, so during those times? It's it's more like an adventure story that would be based on uh, insp- inspired by events that might happen, um, and it's more a, a new take on classic westerns, sp- particularly spaghetti westerns, which we're both fans of. So it's kind of that kind of di- that kind of style and commentary in a in a modern day western. Okay, you I mean you don't see many westerns uh, anymore, especially spaghetti westerns. No, yeah, there's not, there's not too many out there. I think Quentin Tarantino is probably the only major director that really draws a lot of influence from spaghetti westerns, but in general, when you see westerns, they're not necessarily coming from that avenue. Okay. Yeah. And and Cleo, are you in New Mexico or where are you? I'm actually way up north in Ithaca. Oh, in Ithaca? <laughs> I didn't recognize the area code we called you. That's great. All right, so uh, so when does shooting start? So shooting begins June 13th, and what we've been doing in the process is practicing choreography, rehearsing, working out um, specific uh, elements for the actors, and working out production, and uh, we've resolved most of location scouting, um, and we just started an Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign. All right, great. All right, so, so you're the producer, Ron. You're the associate producer? So I'm the associate producer. I'm also handling uh, pretty much all the choreography. We have several fight sequences, and since uh, both uh, of our characters, me and Ernie's characters, are um, immigrants from, from Italy and Sicily, there is an actual style of Sicilian knife fighting that's going to be incorporated into this, and it's uh, it's pretty interesting. Oh, that's good to you. So you really uh, – I love when they – make it authentic and, and, and right. you really do your background and, and intri- that's interesting I didn't know that and it's period appropriate but at the same time it's not necessarily something you'd see in a western right so we want we want to add a different kind of action in addition to what else you might expect in a western okay yeah uh, how is this? I mean, this is the first time you've done a feature length uh, production. So yeah, this is our first feature length film, and uh, because it's through filmmakers without borders, we have the benefit of having more of a controlled timetable. Usually, when you work independently, it's I, I have a weekend to work on it here, then I'm on break in a few months, and you kind of just piece together the time wherever you can. But we have a locked June thirteenth to July fifteenth shooting schedule, and then all of August is audio and editing and everything like that all right good when's it going to hit the the theaters well so uh (laughs) filmmakers without borders actually provides us with um they're going to pay for the fees for up to five film festivals of our choice um so once we send out to film festivals and we hear back um depending on that kind of response uh it would probably be sometime in the area of 2017 maybe mid 2017 okay yeah Uh, uh, cleo how do you uh, how do you know ernie and ron I actually, um, they posted a casting call to backstage, and um, 
I reported to that. Okay, great. And and uh, do you do you live in Ithaca? Or are you or are you there now working? Or, or what's what's uh, kind of your background a little bit? Um, I'm actually not from Ithaca. I'm from the Midwest, and right now I'm just kind of here, like working on writing and working on like preparing and packing for the trip. Okay. Yeah. And wh- where's the shooting going to take place? So it's going to be um, on various locations around the Navajo Nation on the New Mexico side. We've actually, to kind of keep the cost of production low, we've, we are working with um, some folks to uh, get uh, some, some of the, you know, the essentials of making a Western, right? So one of the things we've been provided is a ranch to film on with varying terrain. Um, we horses. have four horses to ride, yeah. And um, and after that, it's really just about who we cast, the equipment we already have, and then the story that we're going to bring to it. Okay, what what year is it going to? What years uh, generally is going to so be set? It's going to be eighteen eighty. Eighteen eighty. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to be more on the later end of the nineteenth century. But this is kind of like a interesting area that's not really touched upon in westerns. A lot of times, it's usually around the Civil War or just after it. And we want to focus on that really post Reconstruction mm-hmm. era. All right. And uh, Cleo, have you ever done a feature-length uh, film before? No, this would be my first. Okay. You have lo- experience with local theater and so forth? Local theater and one, like, actual proper short film. All right, so. good. It's going to be going to be a great experience. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I mean, you know, you've done a lot of the, the, the other kinds of things, like like the Navajo Nation and other things, but this is... This is a big step up, isn't it? Right, yeah. So, I mean, the last major project that we worked on was a documentary, and uh, it was a completely different topic, and documentaries are completely kind of different kind of filmmaking. So um, this has required a lot of detail, and we've been researching and preparing for this for months and months leading up to this. All right. And we've had the benefit of a lot of different resources out there, and a lot of very generous people have been helped helping us to make this possible. All right, good. How, how large is the cast? I, I, you, and you guys are in the movie. Also. Yes, I, I am playing one of the uh, one of the villains, let's yeah. call it. And I'm, and I'm the second villain. We're, we're having a bit of a dispute, and everyone around us kind of is unintentionally caught up in it. Mm-hmm. So um, uh, it's going to be us um, and five other key cast members. Okay. And, and Cleo, you're the, uh, you're the heroine? Yeah, yeah, the lead. Good. The damsel in distress? <laughs> well, you know, not necessarily. Yeah, it's actually quite the opposite. So we're, uh, in addition to the concept, we want to, we want to try to challenge uh, the kind of expectations for different characters. So in, in a traditional Western, we might seem like the good guys, the lovable rogues going across the frontier. Mm-hmm. And in this case, we're the greedy guys that really have no business being there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, I, well, we look forward to uh, hearing more about it, Ernie and Ron, having you back, and uh, good, good you. to see you both. And yeah, uh, Cleo, back. good to talk to you, and and, uh, and, and good luck in the uh, production starting in a couple weeks. Thanks very much for joining us this morning. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. All right, that's uh, uh, Cleo Kehana on the phone and Ernie Zahn, Ron Williams, and we look forward to uh, What's going to be called, by the way? Ernie? It's called Six and Bistai. It's B-I-S-T-I. So if you go on uh, Indiegogo's page and you search B-I-S-T-I, you'll find it right what, away. What's that refer to, Bistai? Um, so that's um, a Badlands area around there um, where a, a bit of the film's going to be taking place. All right, good. Look forward yeah. to it. Thanks yeah. a lot. Great. Good. Thank you. Thank you. WGCH, you said our time is 829. Top national, international headlines all coming up. First traffic.